The Voyager probes, launched by NASA in 1977, have been exploring the outer reaches of our solar system for over four decades. These probes have sent back invaluable data about our cosmic neighborhood, including stunning images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, as well as their moons and rings. However, recently, reports have emerged that Voyager is sending back terrifying data to Earth. In today's video, we will be showing you Voyager sending back terrifying data to Earth. Without further ado, let's begin. The Voyager probes have been traveling for over 40 years, and during that time, they have covered more than 14 billion miles each. They have been sending back information about the outer solar system, including details about the gas giants, their moons, and the Kuiper Belt. The probes were never intended to leave the solar system and travel beyond the heliopause. However, the unexpected longevity of the probes, along with their ability to continue to function, has allowed them to venture much farther than anticipated. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Voyager mission has been the discoveries they have made that were not initially part of their mission. For example, Voyager 1 made a groundbreaking discovery in 2012 when it detected a sudden drop in the number of charged particles that were coming from the Sun. The decrease in these particles signaled that Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause and had entered interstellar space. Voyager 2, which was launched after Voyager 1, crossed into interstellar space in 2018. According to NASA scientists, the Voyager probes have detected some strange and unsettling signals from the outer edges of our solar system. The data collected by Voyager 1 and 2 shows that the intensity of cosmic rays and other high-energy particles has increased significantly in the last few years. This increase is particularly concerning, as it suggests that we may be approaching the edge of our solar system, known as heliopause. The heliopause is the region where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles flowing out from the sun, meets the interstellar medium, a sea of gas and dust that fills the space between stars. At the heliopause, the solar wind is slowed down by the pressure of the interstellar medium, creating a boundary that separates our solar system from the rest of the galaxy. If Voyager is indeed approaching heliopause, it means that we are entering a completely new and unexplored region of space. The increased intensity of cosmic rays detected by Voyager is not the only unsettling piece of data sent back to Earth. The probes have also detected a strange humming sound coming from the depths of space. The origin of this sound is still unknown, but scientists speculate that it could be caused by the turbulence of the interstellar medium as it interacts with the solar wind. These new findings have left scientists scratching their heads and have led to some unsettling questions. What lies beyond heliopause? What other unknown phenomena are waiting to be discovered? Are we prepared for what we might find? Despite these concerns, NASA continues to monitor the Voyager probes as they venture deeper into space. The data they send back will undoubtedly continue to challenge our understanding of the universe and inspire new generations of scientists and explorers. While the data sent back by Voyager may be terrifying in some ways, it also reminds us of the vastness and mystery of the universe. As we continue to explore and learn more about our cosmic neighborhood, we must approach it with humility and respect, always mindful of the unknown and the possibilities that lie ahead. Since crossing the heliopause, the Voyager probes have been able to detect and send back information about the cosmic rays that are coming from interstellar space. These cosmic rays are high-energy particles that originate from outside of our solar system, and their presence indicates that Voyager has entered an area of space that is completely different from the one it had been exploring for the past 40 years. The discovery of the increase in cosmic rays and the strange humming sound has led scientists to wonder what other discoveries the Voyager probes may make as they continue to explore the vastness of interstellar space. Some scientists believe that the probes may eventually reach the Oort Cloud, a hypothetical cloud of icy objects that surrounds the outermost edge of our solar system. Despite the excitement and anticipation that surrounds the Voyager mission, there are also concerns about the long-term implications of the data that is being sent back. For example, the increase in cosmic rays could have implications for the health of astronauts who venture into deep space. Additionally, 
The data from Voyager is a reminder of the fragility and vulnerability of our planet and the importance of preserving it for future generations. The AACS is essential for Voyager to send NASA data about its surrounding interstellar environment as it keeps the craft's antenna pointing right at our planet. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. Suzanne Dodd, a project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said in a statement, The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. NASA said Voyager 1's twin, the Voyager 2 probe, is behaving normally. Launched in 1977 to explore the outer planets in our solar system, Voyager 1 has remained operational long past expectations and continues to send information about its journeys back to Earth. The trailblazing craft left our solar system and entered interstellar space in 2012. It is now 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, making it the most distant human-made object. NASA said that from what its engineers can tell, Voyager 1's AACS is sending randomly generated data that do not reflect what's actually happening on board. The Voyager mission has been a remarkable achievement in human exploration and a testament to our curiosity about the unknown. The data that the probes have sent back has opened new frontiers in space exploration and challenged our understanding of the universe. While recent discoveries may be terrifying in some ways, they remind us of the vastness and mystery of the universe and the importance of continued exploration and discovery. But even if system data suggests otherwise, the spacecraft's antenna seems to be properly aligned. It is receiving and executing commands from NASA and sending data back to Earth. It said that so far the system issue hasn't triggered the aging spacecraft to go into safe mode, during which it carries out only essential operations. Until the nature of the issue is better understood, the team cannot anticipate whether this might affect how long the spacecraft can collect and transmit science data, NASA said. Dodd and her team hope to figure out what's prompting the robot emissary from Earth to send junky data. There are some big challenges for the engineering team, Dodd said, a major one. It takes light 20 hours and 33 minutes to get to Voyager's current interstellar location. So a round-trip message between the space agency and Voyager takes two days. But I think if there's a way to solve this issue with the AACS, our team will find it. Dot added. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.